here we have a Hower uh, 223 with the uh, mini action and it's a very nice rifle and, and Hower, Hower make uh, really good rifles so we're not really commenting about the rifle its design or anything or its quality but what I wanted to talk about and to show you was an example of how it can look uh, a lot different inside a barrel to outside a barrel. Now, for all intents and purposes, this rifle is brand new. Uh, it's it's a used rifle, but it's it's been uh, hardly used at all. And from the outside of it, look at the barrel. It hasn't got a mark on it. The stock, everything, is like a brand brand new rifle. You would swear it's never been used. Okay, so. Um, that's why, in some ways, it's so surprising when we look inside the barrel. So what we've got here, we're going to look at it with a couple of different cameras. One is, this is a miniature uh, miniature endoscope type camera. And it's only 4.5 millimeters in diameter, so it will go easily down this 223 barrel. Okay, and we're uh, going to look at the video here on the computer screen. And then we've got another camera that uh, will look at the same down the same barrel but we're going to be looking into the rifling okay so this this camera looks um, looks down the barrel and the other camera looks at 90 degrees to the bore axis so let's just start by inserting this in and we're looking into the chamber now just we we'll get it started down in the barrel. We can see. We we'll push push it down into the chamber, and everything looks good to start with. But when we start to get down the barrel a little bit, we start to see these white spots. Now we're coming up to some here. Now, unfortunately, these white zones are rust. So. As we go up the barrel towards the muzzle, you can see more and more of these white spots. Look at them. It's very ugly. And yeah, it just keeps going on and on all the way up. Okay, so it when I first saw this, I just couldn't believe my eyes because the rifle itself looks perfect on the outside. And when you look through the barrel, if you do the traditional thing, you hold the rifle up to the light, you look down the barrel, looks absolutely perfect. Shiny inside, shiny like new. But that just shows you the um, difference between looking down it and looking with a bore scope, proper, proper uh, bore scope. So look at all those patches. Of rust all the way down we're getting closer to the muzzle now you can see it's just all the way down the barrel so yeah it's uh, now we're getting towards the muzzle you can see a little bit of copper fouling there um, fortunately right at the muzzle the rifling is quite good so the rifle does in fact shoot well but there's certainly a lot of rust pitting in this barrel. Okay, now we'll just uh, go back down the barrel again to the chamber just quickly. You can see how, how ugly it is in patches. And this will certainly collect fouling, these rust patches, when you start to shoot it a bit. Okay, we pull it back. And then we'll go down with one with the other camera and we'll have a look at a few of these sections in more detail. Okay, so now the camera just plugs into the USB port on the laptop. Okay, so now We've got a camera that's looking with a mirror. So we're looking, we can pass it down. Get it down. Okay, so we're looking in to the start of the rifling. 
It all looks good to start with. Let's see, there we start to come up to a bit of rust pitting, you can see. Ooh, and that's there looking, starting to look pretty ugly. There's a bad section. Now with the uh, 90 degree ca camera, you don't get an idea of the whole picture of the barrel. You can look at a little bit in fine detail like this, which is important but you don't get an idea of what the total condition of the barrel is like. It takes a long time to sweep up and down it, but look at that. Look at that land there, it's all corroded. There we go, up and down. Because we're only looking at a tiny bit at a time with this, but we can see the fine detail of exactly what it's like. Look at that. Now, I'm not for a minute uh, being at all critical of how a rifles. As I said, that this is one of the best rifles I believe that you can get. Um, they're very high quality. What has caused this rust pitting on such a new rifle? I can't say. I've got no idea whether or not it's been subject to a lot of moisture or what's, what has happened to it. I don't know. But I can see that whatever has caused it, something... It's been something pretty severe. Uh, I don't know whether it was stored salt water around or, or what, what's done it, but look at that. Look at that. And um, yeah, there's just patches of rust all over the place. Now we can go right up to the we're getting close to the muzzle now. Yeah, and you can see the the crown. It's actually quite good around the muzzle crown. So um oops. which I think is why the rifle still shoots well, is because right at the muzzle it's it's quite good. It's not bad. Um so that's just lucky. The rust is right through from about two inches from the muzzle right back towards the chamber. There's rust all the way through in patches. So it's a, it's just such a contrast to the outside of the barrel and the overall condition of the rifle, which you would swear it was like brand new. So that's the sort of thing you can see with the bore scope that you just can't see uh, with the naked eye, no matter how hard you look down the barrel.